Hi everyone, uh, this is Mr Beaver, new Deputy Head at Millthorpe School. I just wanted to talk you through some of the Google Classroom features so as a parent um, you have a little bit more of an understanding of the education package we are providing. So the first thing you also want to would do is go into these nine dots at the top, click on Google Classroom and that will take them to all the subjects that they are studying. I've asked Mr. Babelutz to set me up as a, a classroom and I've gone in as a student to show you the student's view. So you click on the lesson that you are timetabled to do and it'll take you to this a page or something very similar. A lot of the discussion so far has been in the stream here. So teachers communicating uh, what tasks are coming up next, the register hello, things like that often happen in this stream. But I'm going to look at the classwork area. I'm going to talk you through Google Question, Google Assignment and Google Form. All relatively similar, so uh, I'll, I'll try not to repeat myself too much. So we're going to a Google Question. This is often used as a starter or a plenary where a teacher poses a question to gauge understanding. Uh, so I've just put something simple in just to um, give you an example. Right, select that and then hand it in. It's important to hand in so the teacher gets the whole class feedback because they get some graphs, etc. at their end. However, you can actually go into the question and open up a few more features. One feature is to ask a class comment linked to this Google question. All your uh, all the uh, peers, all the, your child's uh, peers will, will see that comment. If the comment uh, wants to be directed straight to the teacher privately, then you use this comment box down in this corner. So two more features there, and that's simply to start discussion about a new topic maybe. And really useful when we move to live delivery to pose one of those and then the teacher comes on to discuss responses. A Google assignment, though, is used for sort of more in-depth work. Now, if the teacher has set an assignment, it might be part of an exam paper or it might be, um, you know, a series of questions or a worksheet. If they've created a copy for every student, one that that student can edit and it won't change the master copy or uh, come up on their peers, then you'll, they'll see their name and then the document. That's only if the teacher has created a copy for each teacher, which is good practice. Again, you can go into the assignments, make a class comment that everyone sees and a private comment to your teacher. Now, if this doesn't appear up here, and maybe the teacher has given lesson instructions up here, I've only just written a few words and posted a, a, you know, a PowerPoint or some videos or some content up here, but not given you anywhere to hand this work in, then this is where you would press the add or create and you can you can attach uh, links to websites if you think that helps, but primarily you'll be using a Google Doc, which is a Word Doc, Google Slides, which is PowerPoint effectively, and the Sheets, which are Excel. And you would do your work, open one of these up, do your work on there, and it will have automatically attached itself to this assignment. Hand in, I would ask your teacher, because personally, with a lot of work, if feedback has been given on that piece, then you don't want to hand it in because the teacher can see it anyway, they would write on it, and then the idea of feedback is the student acts on that um, in, in green pen if we're in school normally. But if you've handed it in, you, you can't edit the document. So if it's a piece you're expecting feedback on, don't hand it in, the teacher still has access as long as it's attached, just don't hand it in. If you don't expecting feedback, then you can still hand that in. We go back out of here and the last one the google form parents will have seen one of these come through um um because we, we use this obviously to gauge parents uh, thoughts and feelings on where we're at as a school again you can click on it here or you can go in with the same features you will start to see some teachers dropping in some re uh, voice feedback and that is accessed here Again, it will be posted in here or here, and they are just pressing this little button here that might not appear on yours to create some uh, audio feedback. You would just click on the audio link that would still be in here and listen to it in your headphones. So hopefully that has given you a bit of an overview in how Google Classroom works. I'll do another video on Meet.